easy background removal with one click in Pixlr. What's good creators? Welcome to Monzon Media, a home dedicated to the content creator that is just starting out. Also be sure to stick around to the end as I'm going to show you how to spice up your thumbnail using Canva. Now jumping right into it, if you've never heard of Pixlr.com, check out my overview on the card above. Otherwise, head over to Pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. So once you're on Pixlr, uh, choose Pixlr X, and I'm going to use this background. Now a word of advice is when you're creating a thumbnail and you want to change the background and remove it and add a different color and all that stuff, try to get the cleanest background as possible. Regardless if you have a white background, a blue background, a green background, try to get rid of the shadows as much as possible. Now by doing that, you have a better chance of having a cleaner cutout when you apply this technique. So what we're gonna do now is head over here to the left where you have all your tools and the little scissor icon here that says cut out or a shortcut is K. Click on that. Now if you use the AI cutout, does it automatically for you? With the downside that when it processes though, as you see, uh, there's an ad that runs for 10 seconds, but after the 10 seconds, you're ready to go. So once the 10 seconds is done, click continue, and there you go. Easy, right? Now, the biggest difference I see from something like the paid version of Canva is that it's not as clean as Canva. Canva's Accuracy is very, very good. But again, you have to pay for the pro version to get that result. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go with what we have here. The other only other step I do here is I'll click on extract as layer to make a duplicate. And uh, I will delete the original version. Oops. Now head back over to the home icon here and we're going to switch over to Pixlr E, which is a bit more advanced in terms of photo editing. So the other step I like to do is I will click on the magic wand tool here and click on the background and it's going to select everything. I'm just going to delete anything, any unwanted artifacts that may or may not be showing. All right, it's not absolutely necessary, but I find that you get a cleaner result when you do that. The next step is to go into filter at the top here, look for this option outline, and you're gonna see right away that it's just gonna create the outline for you. Change the color here to white, and press okay. Now you could, you know, Increase the thickness if you want. That's maybe somewhere around there. And I'm going to hit apply and control D to unselect. And there you go. I have that cut out. So as you can see in just a few steps, I was able to remove the background, add this outline, and now I can apply some text. So if you click on the text tool here, and click anywhere on the on the workspace it's going to ask you to add a text layer i'm going to go into styles and click on background and then click on line i'm going to change my background color to uh, sort of a blue color Oh, and the other thing I wanted to do is change this text, or sorry, the font to this. Actually, I could make this a little bigger. 
So now that you have the cutout, you can add another layer by going to the layers menu here on the right, click on the plus sign, click on empty, and I'm gonna move this layer to the bottom. And let's say I wanted to add a gradient background. All I have to do is drag across. Since that's blue on blue, maybe I want a red type of color. Oops. Instead, to do something like that. So you can really mess around with this, uh, you know, and complete your thumbnail here. But what I'm gonna show you now is combining Canva with your image in Pixlr. So now what I'm gonna do is save this first uh, to my folder. Now I'm gonna head over to Canva. Now this is the free version. I do have the pro version, but this is the free version. So let's say I wanted to do a YouTube thumbnail. I'm just gonna start with a blank one. So what I'm gonna do first is look for a background that I might wanna use. Um, let's try this one, this one looks cool. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to upload the image that I did. Okay, so now you see the image is uploaded. Before I drag it in though, I'm gonna use a grid. Go back to my uploads and drag this onto there and boom. Now I have this really cool background and now I can go into text on the left and apply any type of text that uh, I'd like to see. Or whatever kind of text you wanna do. And all you have to do is download this image and there you go, easy thumbnail creation using Pixlr to take the background out, bringing it into Canva and you know using the design elements that are already there. So all right guys, that's it. Simple, isn't it? Now if you got value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe because I'll be doing more tutorials on Pixlr and Canva in the very near future. So get out there, hit records, and create.